Good morning, world. It is Friday. Um, the heat wave seems to be calming down. There's not much of uh, the sunshine left. Um, last night we were in the Indian RC and I think I'll start the grind, which was amazing. Um, I wish I could have filmed you with more, but I'm only just about to get the permissions to film. If it all goes well, <laughs> um, they can still say no, I can't film in there. And if, if that's the case, that's the case, and I just have to work around it. Um, that's why yesterday there was no vlog. We'll look at that soon. Anyway, um, I'm on my way to pick up Rory, then I'm in a serious need of uh, breakfast. Roll. What's happened this week? Um, we moved into NDRC. Mm -hmm. NDRC stands for National Digital Research Centre. Also, I've heard people say that it could stand for National uh, Dream Research Centre. A lot of startups there, so we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah. And it's been absolutely amazing. We're getting a lot of. Uh, mentoring around absolutely fantastic and guess what here's Rory coming out of the uh, house and we're heading back there hello morning morning how's the head? perfect good so how's it going guys how's life treating you I think you've already noticed from this week's vlogs uh, and the theme that I'm really going through some crazy busy time at the moment um, it's all extremely positive it's very uh, exciting it's very uh, look I, I look forward to every morning waking up and going to work I look forward to Monday mornings uh, Fridays kind of make me feel like mmm even though I have a couple of gigs then look forward to during the week but uh, really 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 enjoy what I'm doing at the moment and it's it's there's a certain kind of focus in, in the game at the moment that I really enjoy and uh, just overall having a great time doing it. Um, but due to that fact the vlogs have been a bit, bit um, random, some of them, um, there's been a couple of days in the past few weeks that I just have to say no, I can't do it today, I have to skip it and I did the next day, a couple of days that the vlog came out later. But that's the nature of it, um, I never set out to Actually, I don't even know what I anymore what I set out to do when I started these vlogs, but uh, I'm really enjoying still doing these vlogs. So I have to find the balance of where I can still offer you guys these vlogs and where, as long as the value of it is there for you guys. Um, so yeah, I thought I actually have a little bit of time today. My voice is a bit gone because I've done a three-hour session. Yeah, so. I thought I'd kind of sit down and have a bit more serious chat with you guys at the moment. Kind of a couple of things creeped up in the past few days that I kind of, I'm kind of thinking about that. Hmm. Uh, it's like watching people's behavior and watching what people do and how people prioritize things. Um, when somebody suggest that you should go and talk to somebody because um, they've got knowledge on certain things. That's a lot of what I've been listening to in the past few days and past few weeks is we've been advised to kind of network with uh, the group that we're working with. We've been advised to talk to get help from one another and it's it's just an amazing network in the NDRC. It's just beyond anything I ever imagined. But what I see really intriguing is that some people's behavior is like the, the step of going and asking that can be tough. And I fully understand that because I'm, I would say that probably it, it doesn't always come across in the vlogs, but I would say I'm more of an introvert than, than extrovert, without a shadow of doubt. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm the one, you know, observing the crowd for a long time before I uh, come out of my skin. Um, so I fully understand that for some people it's uh, kind of more difficult to go and talk to a stranger. But the value of information is beyond anything you could ever imagine. So 
you know, even if I put put into that situation, I embrace the situation and I go with it. And um, when I observe some people who are really really good at it, and some people who are, um, yeah, there's people who absolutely overdo it as well. Um, there's kind of fine balance of finding that how you, how do you you know network uh, and the networking is such a tricky word and you know people get networking and spamming sometimes mixed up sometimes like networking and kind of like uh, smooching or whatever you want to call it but the networking is 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 very much what it's all about like you gotta you gotta talk to people um, I'm a strong believer in kind of slower game rather than the fast game like some people want everything to happen right now go and talk to the right people get it done that's fantastic and I believe if that's your mentality of what you think you um, are heading towards that's definitely the way to go I personally believe in kind of offering value before I ask for it um, which can be sometimes tough but when that situation arises I really embrace it like full on uh, because and I've done a lot of things and, and I've got a you know, there are people in my life who kind of criticize me of doing um, stuff for nothing over the years, or like you know, the word has been used that I've been used, uh, <laughs> but it was always out of my own desire to do that. Um, there's a couple of situations where I actually put it this way: I feel that very rarely would I feel that I've been used if I do offer to do something for free because it's my choice to offer to do that. I've been in situations where I got paid for jobs that I felt afterwards more used than I than I uh, probably ever have done by something that I offered to do myself. So that's something to keep in mind because there's so much value in offering value. If you know what I mean, like like offering, you want to offer something for somebody, and it's not even. That you, okay if I offer you this can I get this back no you offer them somebody something uh, and if you can get to do that like once twice three or four times those people eventually are gonna start thinking in their head that, that how can I you know how can I pay this back how can I get them something back and you know if you'd focus on that a lot more of like offering value to other other people I bet a lot of the things that you do or want to do you know would become much easier because um, because people would start paying back what you put out there in the universe and you know I know a lot of you are gonna go straight 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 away and say that I you know I don't have time for that like I'm focused so much on my thing well then you gotta really think about it that like is it really like are, are you really doing the smartest possible way what you need to do if you got eight hours in a day or if you've got five hours in a day and you, I give you a task I think there's a big chance that you get you get the, the eight hour days task done in five hours if needs be so it's all about organizing your schedule and like staying focused and putting the work in I mean today as I said I, I was in the office at eight o'clock in the morning I had a couple of massive meetings um, we did a huge amount of work um, you know we went through some really really hardcore technical business stuff today and you know then we were other side of the town in a radio show and all the way there we were going to stuff work and work and work and work and even sitting in a taxi and uh, got back into town to the session and then I had to run kind of late night visit to the the bank and uh which is pretty cool actually there's a kind of a late night bank here in dublin city center uh, for yeah it's a really really cool thing and then run to the shop to get some food and now i'm at home and you know what do i do like you know the couch looks tempting um no i sit down here and i start filming a vlog for you guys because i feel that i didn't do enough this week vlogs wise and so i want to find the time to do it and that's my decision to put those extra hours in a day you know it's now right now i can honestly say that i'm on a 13 hour work day so far and i probably will continue another couple of hours and that's you know the word hustle that's that's what it is you know you want to make things happen you're going to put the hours in you know and 
if you live in a world of eight hour days and, and then you waste you know big part of that by just like not having your time organized of course nothing's gonna happen but if you really manage your time well and you really get there and do it uh, it's amazing what you can achieve so there you go and um, hopefully you guys get something out of that uh, yes networking is very important um, and yes even us introverts need to do it and you know when somebody offers you some information or even somebody gives you an introduction to somebody who might offer you information follow up on it because it will uh, it's probably valuable stuff and uh, make sure you get your time management right anyway uh, talk to you guys more hopefully tomorrow and uh, once again thanks for sticking around and you guys rock <laughs>